hey guys if you're applying for Cambridge after you submitted your UCAS application in October for natural sciences there are a few more hoops you need to jump through I know it's really unfair after you've spent so long writing a perfect personal statement now you need to do a few more things and the thing that you need to do is a Cambridge Natural Science Admissions Assessment, or the NSAA. It's a little bit of a mouthful to say, but if you're applying for natural sciences, that's what you need to do. Now, when we're looking at the content of this, it's going to be based around A-levels, and the most common are A-level combinations. These are A-level biology and A-level chemistry, with maths or physics at AS, A-level chemistry and A-level maths, or and biology and physics at AS, or A-level physics, A-level maths, and A level further maths. And for this, you can need A star, A star, A. Now remember, psychology does not count as a science for Cambridge. Most people are going to be taking four, maybe three A levels in an AS out of the sciences and the maths. Some colleges, um, Magdalene, Trinity, and St John's, are going to require you to do a further written assessment at interview. But the natural science admission assessment is before interview. This is done in early November, so a couple of weeks after your UCAS applications need to be in. You have to be registered for this in advance, and I don't mean like the day in advance, I mean a few weeks in advance. And you can't do this yourself. Your school, your college, the exams officer there has to register you for this. You can't register yourself, because this is a proper exam. It's not just like a bit of homework or something you do like at home in your bedroom. This is a proper exam and has to be done under exam conditions. This is before the interviews. So they're gonna look at your scores from this, the separate parts of this, they're going to look at your personal statement, they're going to look at your references and all of this is going to go together to decide whether you get an interview or whether you get into the college. Now what they're looking for at Cambridge is people that know the legal specification inside out but can apply it and go above and beyond because you need to differentiate yourself from everyone else who's getting those A stars in maths, everyone else who's getting those A stars in chemistry or physics and biology. Let's assume that everyone sitting the assessment on that day can get those A stars and knows the A level specification perfectly. What we need to do in this assessment is to be able to take the knowledge that you have and to be able to apply it in different ways to different things. So looking at different situations, um, combining things you might not have thought of combining before, and loads and loads of applications of logic. There are two sections for this assessment. Section one, which is multiple choice, and section two, which is long answer. Section one is 80 minutes of multiple choice. There are five sections. A is maths, B is physics, C is chemistry, B is D is biology, and then E is like really, really hard maths combined with physics. You have to do section A, you have to do the math section, and then at least two other from the other sections. So you have to do maths, and then you can pick two from physics, chemistry, biology, or further maths. So you have to do three sections in total. Each section has 18 questions in, so you're going to need to do 54 questions in total. So 54 questions in 80 minutes. You are not allowed a calculator for this, and it is multiple choice questions. These questions are meant to be really, really hard. Um, even the best, the brightest, the A-star students are meant to struggle with these questions. And it's not just whether you can get the answer right or not, it's whether you can um, try and how you try to answer the question. Section two, you have to answer two questions from a list of six questions. Two biology, two chemistry, two physics. You get 40 minutes to do these questions. And these are long questions. Um, there's going to be diagrams, there's going to be graphs, you are allowed a calculator for this, um, and write down all of your working. Because remember, they're interested in the process of you getting to the answer, as well as you just coming up with the answer. Um, the content for this is going to be mainly based around year 12 A-level. There is a really, really long list um, over on the website if you haven't done A-levels. It's way too long for me to include here. There isn't going to be any negative marking, so it's worth you trying every single section. Um, for example, if you can't do part A, then you can go on and maybe try part E, D, C. You don't have to do it in order as well. Some of the bits link, but some of the bits don't link. So if you can't do the first part of the chemistry questions, or you really want to do the chemistry questions, then try and do some of the other ones. Um, remember this assessment is meant to be really, really hard. So you're gonna have to know all of your content really, really well, but be prepared to do some like out of the box thinking, be prepared to be challenged. 
um, and try not to stress about it so much. So good luck guys, it's coming up um, for 2017 in a few weeks time, good luck. <laughs>